Breaking news on RT. Ukraine's military is storming two cities in East Ukraine. The assault comes hours after Kyiv promised a mass operation against activists occupying government buildings across the southeast. Uh, the protesters are demanding a referendum on their region's future. Calls that have been labeled as separatism and uh, terrorism by the coup appointed government. Now, military units have been gathering in a town on the border between the Kharkiv and Donetsk regions, which have seen some of the strongest anti-government protests. From there, they have now moved into the cities of Kramatorsk and uh, Slavyansk. Also, Kiev has confirmed it's conducting an operation at the airport in Kramatorsk. Activists say there are injuries there. Well, RT's Maria Finarsna joins us now for more on this. Well, Maria, what are people telling you there on the ground? Well, today we receive alarming news from all over the eastern uh, Ukraine. Earlier, Kiev announced the beginning of a large-scale military operation here in the region on protesters, on those who refuse to recognize the country's new authorities, calling for independence from Kiev and for a referendum to decide their region's future to be held uh, uh, here. And now we see that major events happening in at least two towns not far from the city of Donetsk, where we are uh, now. Well, there are reports that in the town of Slavyansk, uh, uh, troops and uh, military vehicles that have been gathering there for days already started moving and the beginning of the military operation in another town of uh, uh, Kalamonsk uh, uh, have been, has been confirmed uh, from Kiev. And uh, we are now receiving information that uh, several people have already been injured, but it is not very easy to confirm this information or to say exactly what caused these injuries. So I have to say that uh, for days already, uh, central authorities have been uh, promising the beginning of this operation and people here in the region, not only protesters on the barricades and those who have been taking state buildings in all uh, across the region, but just all ordinary people, ordinary civilians have been waiting for this operation and they have been rising, uh, as they say, to protect uh, their own land. And we've seen, for example, in one village here in the Netsk region, people have stopped tank, apparently heading towards the town of Slavansk to take part in an operation there. Kiev called this operation an anti-terror operation and reported that all types of forces and uh, units uh, will be taking part in this operation, uh, uh, while uh, not, uh, well, just those who are taking part in this protest are uh, don't seem. Uh, like terrorists. We have been able uh, to cover uh, these protests here in this region for several days already while it has been boiling here for months already and we've spoke to all those uh, who are uh, barricading and uh, who are protesting and this is my report about those who we've seen there and who we've talked to there.